Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about stable diffusion and AI art. It's something that's new to me, so we are going to be learning about it together. But I've been messing around with it, and the AI art is great, but it uses existing art that's already on the internet. So if I make something creative, a digital piece, I upload it to the internet. Uh, the AI art kind of searches for that and then it makes generated art based on all of these things. And the way you uh, use it is prompts. So now you don't have to be an artist to create amazing works of art. And a lot of it kind of looks the same in a way, but you can modify it. So it uses these things called prompts. And a prompt is basically you describe your image. So if you wanted to, for example, create a piece, it was a portrait of a girl, you would just type in portrait girl, uh, comma, highly realistic, comma, in the style of John Singer Sargent, comma, and then you would just keep adding description and it would generate this piece. Now there are a couple downsides to this. Um, basically, if you already if an art piece has already been made then it'll generate it based on that but because there are online services and you can buy credits you can use it for free for like a couple of days there are limits but if you really want the limitless capabilities of ai art you want to install it on your computer yourself and use the local uh, computer instead of a service but Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to test three of the best AI generated art websites DALI 2, Stable Diffusion Online, and Midjourney. All of these images were generated using AI. And we use these things called prompts in order to describe your image so the computer will generate this based on existing images that it finds online. There are generators for AI images that you can run locally on your computer, and that's a much better system. But the problem with that is that you require a graphics card with over 10 gigabytes, and I simply don't have that. If you're having an issue finding prompts, you can go to prompthero.com AI prompts and search for images. So if you find an example of an image that you would like to create, you can use that to modify it. So let's say I wanted to look at this one. You can see here that's the prompts that it generated that the artist put in in order to get this image. So here is my prompts for stable diffusion. I'm going to put that in and see how it generates it. But just look at this. These are amazing detailed images that you can use. I wish they were higher res though. This is going to be our prompt. A gothic man falling with many big flowers, birds in the form of a wax liquid, Greek sculpture, winged victory at Samarath, sculpture by August Rodin, bubbling red wax, superhero pose, skull, flowers, baroque, intricate, trending on art station, octane render. We're going to generate this on the three AI websites and see the results that we get. On the first one, this is what got Dali created. Not the results I was looking for. I was looking for something a little bit more sculptural, but it does look like it's made out of wax. Stable Diffusion Online created. There's this. This this is a little bit better than what I expected. This is quite nice. So in a way, this gives you ideas for sculptures. You can use this to generate ideas. Mid-journey, you have to pay. The way it works, you go into like the newbies and then you do slash prompt, uh, imagine and then enter your prompt. This is what it generated. And these are the results. I really think Mid Journey came up on top. Next prompt a photo of a cat flying out to space as an astronaut, digital art. A photo of a cat flying out, and this is what we got. Dali and much better results, I think. Definitely a lot more creative than Stable Diffusion. 
It still has got this very painterly look. There are issues with the cat, cat's ear going through the helmet. He's leaping forward. But it does look cool as an illustration. And here are our results from Midjourney. You can see they are much more realistic. They are much better for our artists. It just looks so much better. And that is what I want to show you guys. There are some limitations to these because you're using it on an online source. And a lot of these, like Midjourney, after a while, I think you get like 50 free credits. And then afterwards, you have to um, just buy but otherwise, you have to install it on your computer. I'll do a video later on on how to install it on your computer locally so you don't have any restrictions. So why is AI so good? Let's say you wanted to do a logo, and we're going to use Midjourney for this. <clears throat> um, you're going to do Imagine, and now we're going to create a logo using a squid riding a motorcycle in the woods very realistic illustration so here is the logo that i created it's not exactly a logo per se but it is cool images look at that i mean it's a squid riding a motorcycle in the woods a i think this is a much better way of local logo usages uh not exactly what i was looking for but this works fairly well. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more whimsical. But that's what prompts are. You modify the prompts and you just generate new ideas. You know, I am a traditional artist, but I also enjoy technology. So that's why I'm into 3D printing. That's just a little AI thing. I hope to do more on AI videos soon. So stay tuned for that. It might be a little bit different than the videos that you see on YouTube who are generally people who are more into technology. I'm more into the tradition of art, but I also like to combine it all together. Hope this was useful to you guys. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.